What is going on, you guys? It is The Talking Sasquatch, and it's great to have you back. Today is the day, and it's finally time. I finally got the video game module for the Flipper Zero. Now, I really did not want to do this without actually physically having one of these in my hands. I didn't want to just release a video showing off the, uh, the trailer from Flipper Guys. Here's the real deal right here. I got one. Actually, correction, I don't have one. I have two. And if you want one, stay tuned to the end of the video because we're going to be giving one of them away on Discord. I've been so excited to mess around with this thing. It's actually a lot more powerful than you might think. So let's get right at it and find out exactly what this thing does. Let's go. All right, so right up top, I actually want to point out that this thing I technically already covered in a previous video. You may remember back in the Flipper Nano video, I showed off a whole bunch of prototype PCBs, and this was one of them. I just had no clue what it did. Now, before we get into unboxing, let's take a look at Flipper's press release so we know what we're looking at before we get into it. All right, this is the official press release from Flipper Zero, introducing the video game module powered by Raspberry Pi. Moving right along, actually, I love this graphic here. I love the retro TV. I think they did a really good job on this marketing campaign. But if we go down a little bit further, we have our technical specs. So it's powered by USB-C if you want to power this alone, which you can actually use completely without the flipper. Got a gyroscope slash accelerometer. It's got video out and it's got breakout for the Raspberry Pi 2040 that's inside. Now, for those of you who don't remember, the Raspberry Pi 2040 is actually the same one that's in this Badger 2040 and in the Raspberry Pi Pico. And that's one of the reasons why I'm so psyched about this device, because the Raspberry Pi 2040 is extremely capable. I'll show you some stuff later on, but it's very cool. All right, back to the desktop. All right, let's look at the rest of these specs. It's got 264 kilobytes onboard RAM, gyroscope we talked about there earlier, USB-C port, video output port, which is pretty cool. And they don't seem to have the proper license to call it HDMI. So right now they're just calling it a video out port. And then of course we've got boot and reset buttons. That's gonna be for installing custom firmware directly to the Raspberry Pi itself. So if we keep moving, they're gonna talk about the video out port. No big deal there, we know what that does more not HDMI. It's got a status light on top, nothing fancy. The gyroscope and accelerometer, I'll show you that later, but this is really cool. And then there's pass-through for the Raspberry Pi itself. And by pass-through, that just means that you can actually control the Raspberry Pi independently of the Flipper Zero, so it can be its own standalone unit. Oh yeah, also, I'm not gonna go into this in this video, but check out Derek Jameson's channel. He goes over all sorts of cool stuff, including the oscilloscope or the game module itself. Let's see, you're gonna talk about the Air R Arcanoid, I can never say that. Air Arcanoid game, we'll show you that later. Air Mail, I'll show you that later. Flipper Zero game engine is really cool. I tried to install it and I could not get this working, but I love the idea. And then I think it's just firmware and stuff and it's got the breakouts. So all this cool information if you wanna actually really start working on this board independently. All right, so that's about enough technical information. Let's get this thing out of the box. As Soon as you open it, there's a nice actual good one sheet of exactly how to install the firmware, how to update everything. I'll go over this a little bit, but yeah, instructions are pretty great. And then we have the game module itself. Got a little finger hole to get it out. This is the Flipper Zero game module. All right, let's take a closer look. You can see the breakout port for the Raspberry Pi is right there. Let's get closer to the camera here. And then we've got the video out right there. We've got other side is the USB-C cable. And then of course your pins for your Flipper Zero. Now, one thing to note is this little orange guy down here. This actually comes off. And well, I don't need to take it off now, but that comes off in case you have a silicone cover on your flipper already. It makes it fit better. So I don't have a cover on my flipper right now, so I'm going to leave it on. Now, before we do anything at all, I'm actually going to go ahead and update my flipper. So I'm going to plug it into USB-C and then hop back down to the desktop and show you exactly how to do that just to make sure you have everything right. So for this example, I'm actually going to use lab.flipper.net because I can do everything I need all in one website. Now, as of the time of recording this and you seeing this, which is actually all in the same day because I really wanted to get this video out this week. All of the custom firmware support this as well as the latest release version of official firmware. If you don't have the latest version of the firmware, just click install down here. Or like if you're running extreme, you can run their web update. It's flipper-xtre.me slash update. Now, once you have everything updated to the latest version of firmware, all you're going to want to do is make sure that you have the apps that you need. The Air Mouse and Air Acno Arachnoid, whatever that game is, I'm never going to remember how to say it, but those are not currently in the release version of XFW. I believe it's in the dev version, so you might have to install it. And if you have to install it, it's just this easy. Click on apps down here and you'll see probably all the way up near the top, you're going to get 
Air Arachnoid and the Air Mouse. As you can see, I've installed both of those. So if install is an option, just click install and it'll put them right on your flipper for you. Super easy. Also for the official firmware, you can install the video game module firmware right here as well. I honestly haven't tried this on official firmware yet, but if it's not working when you plug the board in, as I'll show you in a second, just download the video game module firmware should work just fine. All right, so let me close out of labs and then I'm actually going to open up Q Flipper so you can see on the screen what it looks like while I plug it in. OK, so here we have Q Flipper open. And as soon as I plug the board in, you're going to get a brand new message that you've never seen before, which is the video game module initialize. This way, you know, everything went well and it's going to work. So the first thing I actually want to show off is going to be the air mouse. So let's go down into apps and it's actually under GPIO. Now it's important to note that there is another air mouse. So don't get them confused. The BM160 air mouse is actually for a GPIO add-on board that basically makes an air mouse. This won't work with the video game module itself. So if we keep scrolling down, you'll just see it, it's something called just straight up air mouse. Where are we at? Here we go, air mouse. All right, so let's fire up the air mouse and see how this works. So. Let's open that up. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna ask if I wanna use USB or Bluetooth. My Bluetooth is totally bonked, so we're using USB. I'm gonna lose Q-Flipper in the process, but Air Mouse is gonna work, so that's cool. Yeah, my mouse is way over here now. And yeah, so now we have an Air Mouse. It's a little awkward and takes some getting used to, but you can see the mouse moving around the screen and it's being controlled by my flipper. So it's very cool. Now, one thing I did notice with the Air Mouse is it does seem to help if you kind of keep it level and not moving when you load the app. Uh, I think it kind of calibrates when it first loads. So just do that. And then you can kind of control things a lot easier. To the same point, if you're still having issues, just try to unplug the board, plug it back in, but leave everything nice and flat and not moving when you plug it in. All right, so let's go check out this game. So let's go back. Go down to games and we're gonna do air arachnoid air 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 arachnoid or arachnoid again i can't say this so let's fire this up all right so let's see what this looks like let's fire it up and go to play oh shoot you can't see it on this on q flipper uh So yeah, apparently you can't actually output to QFlipper on the USB while that game's being played. But guess what? It's got an HDMI port, so we're going to use that and try that instead. But you know what does work is this segue to today's sponsor. Owlsec. I mean, they're not really a sponsor, but we didn't have a sponsor for this video, and I wanted to give a huge shout out to Serho at Owlsec. Serho is an amazing creator, and what they got going on in their Discord is absolutely awesome. If you want to learn anything about ethical hacking or CTFs or anything like that, it is a fantastic community. Everybody is out there helping you guys learn. So check out their Discord link down below. Let's get back at it. Now back to our show. Yes. All right. So now we have our monitor of, of science. science. So now we can plug our flipper in and see what it looks like through the HDMI. All right, here we go. That's not too bad, actually. I mean, the frame rate's a little slow, but I mean, I've played worse. All right, so obviously it's not going to play 4K AAA games, but let's plug it in and actually see what it does. All right. Up and down. Hey, that's actually, that's super cool. I love this. Is it a little silly? Yeah, but I mean, this thing's so much fun. Let's play some Doom. Yeah, it's just as bad as it always was. Oh God, it's so laggy and so playable. Let's try Flappy Bird. There we go. Fatality. Now we got the game of life playing itself over there. If anybody knows how this game actually works, let me know down in the comments. I've, this game's been out forever, and I honestly have no clue what it is. Now, I did try the Air Arkanoid game again on the HDMI. However, that didn't work either. I'm not really sure what's going on. I saw Derek Jameson use it, so I'm not sure if there's a mismatch between the firmware or what, but something's a little weird. All right, so as I was saying before, one of the reasons why I was so psyched to see this project come out is the fact that this thing's running on the power of a Raspberry Pi 2040. And while the flipper can't play Doom, the Raspberry Pi 2040 certainly can. So here's a video of somebody playing Doom 1. Actually, they're playing the demo out of it on a Raspberry Pi pico which is as we said before the same 2040 that's going to be inside this board i know coco code and zardos both said that they were interested in trying to get this support over i know coco code wants to use uart to use the controllers for the flipper to control doom that would be so cool there's a ton of other projects too with the raspberry pi 2040 so the possibilities are pretty much endless so that brings us to our giveaway so do you want your own factory sealed video game module this isn't the one i use i got one just for a giveaway well get this video to 10,000 likes 
and we'll do a giveaway. Yeah, no, sorry. No like goals, no nothing. We're doing it anyway. Just join up on the Discord link down below, hop into the announcements channel right next to this video, and you'll see the giveaway bot. All you gotta do is click on the emoji underneath it, and you'll be entered. Now, I do need to limit this to continental United States, especially not Canada. If there's any Canadian police here, you have to tell me, otherwise it's entrapment. So hop on over the Discord and make sure you don't miss out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications. That stuff helps me out a ton. You guys are absolute legends. We'll catch you next time.